Hey everybody, today I'll be taking a look at Geistesblitz. It, this is a German name, I have a German version. In uh, English it's Ghostblitz, I think the name, so actually the same. Um, it's a very fun and quick game. It's kind of like Jungle Speed, where you have to react uh, very fast. It plays two to, two to eight players and it plays in 15-20 minutes, maybe even faster. It's a very fast game. Let me show you. So you get the components are these five uh, little objects. You put those in the middle of the table and every turn a card from this deck gets flipped over. Then uh, all the players have to grab as fast as they can the right object. Now, how does this work? If there is something right, you have to grab that object. So the ghost is red, which is wrong because it's white, but there's a green bottle this is right and correct so everybody now has to grab the green ball as fast as they can the player who does so first gets this card this means he has one point another example in this case everything is wrong there's a gray ghost which is wrong ghost is white and there's a blue bottle which is wrong bottle is green so what you then have to grab is the color and object that are missing that is missing sorry so Gray is in the picture, so the mouse is wrong. The ghost is in the picture, wrong. Blue is in the picture, wrong. The bottle is in the picture, wrong. What is missing is the red seat. There's no red and there's no seat. So when this guard gets flipped, everybody gets to grab this seat as fast as they can. The first player gets the points, gets the cards. If you grab something wrong, all the other players keep competing and uh, everybody that grabs something wrong has to give a card they have earned earlier to the player who won. So grabbing wrong is also punished. Another example, this is easy. There's a red seat, you have to grab the red seat. One more maybe. Okay, you know what you have to grab? It isn't a ghost because there's white, it isn't a book because there's a book, it isn't red because there's uh, a red bottle, it isn't a bottle. So you have to grab the grey mouse because there's no grey and no mouse. So as you can see it's kind of complicated, it's something you really have to get your head around. It's not that easy at first for new people. Not another one, can you figure it out fast what to grab? It's the blue book in this case because there's no blue and no book. So that's how the game plays, you just go until you, ran, you run out of cards and you have to grab every turn. Uh, for my uh, final thoughts actually, what I like about this game is that every time a card is flipped you have to grab something. Unlike Jungle Speed where you are sometimes just flipping, flipping, flipping without ever having to grab the totem, here every turn you flip a card and you have to grab one of the five objects. It's really hilarious. I have played this with many groups. Almost everybody always likes it. The only problem is some people are, are really bad at it. They really, when they see this, they really have to think a very long time before they realize what to grab. Uh, some people get the hang of it after a minute, after five or six cards. Some people just suck at it and they keep they never get better so for those people it's a bit less fun but most of the time it's a very competitive game uh, it's really fun it's hilarious sometimes so, so you grab the wrong thing another player grabs the wrong thing and then when they grab the right everybody has to, uh, to turn in a card and uh, it's just hilarious it works well with two three four five uh, six. I haven't played it with more than six, but uh, the box says you can go up to eight. Um, it's a very fun game. I say I think if you like this kind of game, it's good with kids also, with all kinds of groups. Uh, if you like this kind of game, like Jungle Speed, a speed game where you have to react fast, this is a great one. All right. See you guys. Thanks for watching.